On the 1972 trip, we were in Ogden, and I ran up and got to see uh, some of the aging F7s after they had pulled in. I wanted to get the uh, UPE9s coming down to uh, take over, but I managed to get the F7 for a second. Did manage to, uh, without my parents knowing it, run out on the track and watch the uh, last F7 departing. What I was waiting for was those E9s. After the engines cut off, I tried to walk the train very carefully and looked at some of the cool cars that still had Burlington Northern baggage car. Boy, I wanted to ride on that City of Portland dome car still. Amtrak was trying to repaint their cars, but the train seemed to steep, uh, stretch on forever. Pretty soon I heard uh, three horns in the background, so I hustled down to the other end. Went down to the UP side, where I could hear the uh, power coming. Soon enough, yep. Score two UPE nines and an Amtrak. That'll do. Now to try to get up there to get ahead of the train. Three dome cars, awesome. And the chase was on. Got to Rollins to that little park across from the station. Wonderful place to watch the trains arrive. They come smoking in and then be there about one minute. And that was it.
we got down to Denver, I saw the uh, new power that was going to go on to the San Francisco Zephyr get changed out. The usual collection of Motley E units. I'd love to see a lineup like that now, though. So here's the tail of the train, which in a few minutes will become the head of the train once again. Pretty soon they'll all be back where they belong. That'll do. And away we head to Chicago. Thanks for watching, folks.